Hi, I'm Ash from Ableton.com, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the HTML entities function. Um, in brief, the HTML entities function basically stops HTML code running on a page. So, um, for example, if we just load up Dream here, and if I just quickly type in a form here, so the form action, I'm um, just going to bring it back to PHP, index.php and um, this is very useful for for um, like uh, comment systems and just stuff like that um, where you where what the user posts to the page um, actually gets displayed so comment systems uh, stuff like that um, text I'm just gonna make it uh, name um, I'm just gonna post text um, I'm just going to bring this a bit bigger so we can see what I'm cause I'm going to give you an, an example using an iframe so um, input type is submit uh, the value um, post and the name will give us submit okay so now if I refresh uh, we just get a little form like that and the user can enter some details into that okay so that's what you'll get if you had like a comment page underneath um, so now what I'm going to show you um, if I just create some if is set oops um, dollar underscore post submit then we're going to run um, so we're going to get the message um, and that's dollar underscore post um, text and then basically if we just echo out message here okay so if I just post something like um, this is a message we just get it posted there um, but for example um, what we can do is if we say put strong tags around this message what the user is able to do is put this message in bold if I click post as you can see it's gone changed to bold and um, so that's what we don't want to happen and for example an iframe if I can remember how to do this um, um, for example let's just use able12.com um, well, I first uh, say back and um, post that on my computers. As you can see, we get we get the iframe pasted up. Um, so iframe, it's because I didn't enter a um, HTTP. So I just copy that for. And if we click post, as you can see, um, we get the uh, the page coming up here. And basically, if we put this as um, width is 100% um, percent and height, let's say, is um, no, actually we'll go for 700. And if I post that, as you can see, um, the user is then able to post an iframe to the page. And if this gets stored in the database, then um, as you can see, we're going to have huge problems with the the comment system. Just an, an example. Um, so what we can do to this is use the HTML function to stop the user actually to stop the iframe code running on the page. So basically, all we do is round this post underscore text is HTML and entities and that's basically it so now what we can do if we copy that paste that back in and post it as you can see the iframe does not run and it just shows the code so that's um, HTML entities function it is really useful and highly recommended if you are going to be allowing the user to post information to to your website um, for example, um, you could use on login scripts just in case, registration scripts so the user can't enter code, um, just 
any anything basically the user can post where the user can post information to your website um, you don't want them actually executing code on your website um, so that's HTML functions it is really useful and highly recommended um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time